first and foremost, whenever you do any wiring, definitely remove all of your your battery disconnected. Uh, you don't want to, you know, make sure they're out of the way. You don't want those touch in while you're working underneath the dash. This is a video for the trigger wire. First, after you get the headlight switch out right here, by pushing in on this lever here and then twisting it between the off and parking light position, you can pull it straight out. Then pull out the connector and you're gonna remove this little clip off of it. You can see the, uh, where is it? There's a little tab on it that you have to like get a pick and pull it up. There it is right there, you see it on the side? Right there, right at the tip of my thumb. Lift that up, this thing pops off. After that, you find pin number seven, right in there, and you insert the yellow wire. It's actually right between, on my 2007 MK5, the brown and red and white wire. That's pin seven, two over from the right on the bottom side. So that's that. Then you're gonna go down under the car, or under the dash, I should say. I have to remove the kick plate. And you're gonna remove this connector right here, which is connector E. As you can see, I hope this is a good enough view. It's right up in there. I removed this one just to get some better access to it and you're going to insert it the other end of that yellow trigger wire I believe right next to the purple wire but it's E13 just so you know I'll finish this video as soon as I get it put in all right for easy insulation see I took a coat hanger here and I electrical taped the wire right there so I can push it through to make it easier to get underneath there. That way you're not trying to mess around for 30 minutes trying to get a little wire through. All right, so there it is. You have to take off this jacket again by prying off this little lever right there and then you pr kind of pry this thing out be careful it's you know plastic so you could break it just be gentle with it you know i used the pick this popped out and now you see the yellow trigger wire that was ran from the switch the connector on the switch now goes into number 13 which when you take it out and it's looking at you like this and you can see the numbers It'll be to the left of the purple wire on the close side with the space at the end. I don't know if you can see very well, not much lighting, but you see you got this tab here. So with the tab facing that way, you have a space, then a purple wire. Right next to the purple wire, you insert the yellow trigger. All right, so now what you're going to do is disconnect C and B. This black one here and this um, like yellowish orange one. The yellow orange one is C and the black one right next to it is B. You're going to take the gray and white wire out from C, I believe it's C12. Um, it was the farthest one over here, so yeah, I think it's C12. And you're gonna put it into uh, B, uh, yeah, B4. I used, where is it? 
this tool here, as you can see, wait, no, that's not it, my bad. This tool. It's an electrical connector removal tool. What you do is you slide those two pins on either side. You can kind of see it right here. See how there's two holes in, in, on either side of the, uh, the main connector here. So you take it into C12. I believe it's this one right here. Slide it up in there and then the wire pulls out. And then you just pull, put it right back into B4. There's no removal of anything. It's right next to the purple wire. Again, there is get that light. a what is it? one space purple wire. Then that's where you connect your gray and white or gray and black, gray and white. What is it? Gray and white. Yeah, gray and white wire. Um. After that, everything's all set. Just connect everything back together and you're all done. I forgot to mention, there's these little purple slides here. Just take your pick, shove it in there. Like, don't shove it in, but slide it in there and pry it out very gently on both C and B. Um, that'll allow you to release, or, um, release this, this wire here. Uh, once again, just be really careful. They don't give you a lot of room to work in. So you don't want to pull too hard. And you might accidentally, you know, really mess something up. And I don't have a video that can help you out with that. So once again, just get the wire from C to B. Or, uh, yeah, C to B, uh, C12 to B4. It's the gray and white wire. Use the connector. I suggest, I mean, if you know, people can use paper clips, stuff like that, but it's a very, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, delicate procedure. You don't want to break something off in there. After that, if you do that, you're screwed. So just get the tool. It's like 10 bucks, if that, and you'll be straight. All right, now this is what it looks like when everything's put back together. You've got, let me see. Those, see those red, that red tab right there, actually? You have to slide that towards the driver's side to be able to disconnect these, um, these connectors. So make sure you do that before you try ripping any of them out. But you can see connector E kind of, there's the trigger wire, the yellow wire right here, going up to the headlight switch. It's going into connector E, right next to that purple wire. Difficult to see, some better light on it. You can see it kind of in there. Trigger wire to connector E, and then up. Everything's back together. Make sure you slide these clips back, you know, away from the driver's door. And then you bolt up your kick plate, kick plate and you're done. At least with that spot. Alright, after you do all the installation, I still got to get rid of the uh, warning light here, but you just want to go through make sure everything's working when you got your rear fogs as you can see there's a new pop-up right there bam bam that means your rear fog is working you're good to go but that's after you do the long coating either with obd 11 or vagcom um once again just disconnect your battery don't put everything back together until you know it's all done and good luck hopefully this was enough information and this is what you'll see in the rear that's the rear fog light on those are the lights as you can see the other side's off i just have it set for this one and that should be everything